Yeah, well, uh, first of all, it's, a be, it's an honor to be here at Daytona International Speedway, the uh, world center of racing. And uh, to be able to have your own design track here for, for these guys competing, uh, they're the best in the business. It's uh, truly an honor and special, so I'm thankful for that opportunity. Um, but it is difficult, you know, you're under a lot of restraints and there's only certain areas you can go. Uh, so it, uh, it's challenging, but uh, nonetheless, I think it's going to be a, um, a good race and I'm excited to see it. It's been such a special year in Monster Energy Supercross. So in, in the design, I mean, you have, a, you have everything to do with the design of this track every year. Mm -hmm. Think us through that. I mean, what, what did you have in your mind? Because the flow of this one looks like it, I mean, it flows and it's fast. It looks like it's going to be fast. Is that what you intended? Well, uh, I'm just intending it to be safety fir safe first and then uh, challenging at the same time so it races good, so the riders like it. And uh, that, that, I mean, that, that's what I want. And if, if, it, if the riders like it and it's safe and it's fun, it's going to produce great racing. Uh, it makes it great for the fans also, and then, of course, great for TV. So it, it's tough. You know, it's tough. But you got to deal with what you got the best that you can. And uh, I'm excited. It's definitely uh, some long lanes this year, and it's going to provide some great racing, I believe, and give guys a chance to uh, pull up alongside of each other going down the lanes. So we'll see what happens. So you're, you're I believe, a five-time winner here in Daytona. That's right. What does that take long, to be a five time? Well, well it's a long time ago, that's yeah. for sure. So, uh, yeah, I was really lucky to win here five times on the in the premier class, and I won once on a 125. So, it just being a home race for me, and I grew up in the sand riding. So every time I come here, I had a lot of confidence. So, yeah, uh, so I'm still I'm still through. pissed off about 2005 when Chad <laughs> Reed beat me here, but he reminds me of that every time we yeah. come here. So. Uh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, that's right. It, let me ask you this question, and and you kind of holding in on it a minute ago. You know, I want to talk to everybody about it, and, but in this sport, I mean, there's a lot. There's, the sport's always changing. You know, is there anything you feel in this sport that that needs to be massaged, changed up? Anything that you feel that it's going to take it to the next level? Or uh, you, man, you put me on the spot. Yeah. Uh, I just, I, I, I think the most professional, uh, the more professional the riders can be, and is always going to help speaking intelligently on their interviews you know people like that sponsors like that and uh, I think the more that they can do that and the more that uh, the promoters work together and everybody has one common goal I think that'll help and uh, you know we're relatively a young sport people seem to forget that sometime um, I think uh, we always want more growth and we always there are always things that we can do better but I think for the most part everyone is doing the best that they can and uh, just got to keep fine-tuning stuff yeah.